Hello, my dear students. Welcome back to this lecture. So in this lecture, we'll see uh, one more thing in the filter command and then we'll go to the sorting command. So I added one more column here. See, uh, right now, whatever Excel sheet I've taken, I would just reduce few uh, contractor names and, and I've changed the cost of the project. So whatever Excel sheet you're using, that is fine. Else I'll be uploading this sheet. You can make use of this sheet also. Okay, fine. Here one column, what I've added is a total cost. I've added one more column by name total cost. And now I'll give the total cost. That means including the railway project, building project, road project and water supply project. What is the total project cost? Okay. So for that, what you do, I just teach you for one thing. What we do is you keep your mouse here equal to sign. Click on this plus this one plus this one plus this one and hit the enter button. The cost will come. Then if you drag from here, if I delete this thing, I'll delete it. And now once I've done, I'll just drag it like this. For all the other, uh, the total cost will come. Okay. Now I'll go with the filter command. See, so whenever you want to apply the filter command, randomly if you keep your mouse somewhere, okay, and say Alt D F F. So this filter command will be applied somewhere. So you can see the filter command is applied here. Filter command is I don't want that. So where you want the filter command? I want in this particular row, right? So again, you click on Alt D F F. So it will go. Now keep your mouse here and write Alt D F F. So you can see, okay, I'll do it once again. I'll keep it here. Alt D F F. My filter command is coming here. Okay, wait, let me do. I'll do in this way. Control Z. I'll select like this. Okay, here everywhere I want. So Alt D F F. Ah, okay, now you can see everywhere the filter command has come. So previously I told in the filter command, let us say, I want to select two, three companies. Okay, I'll go with F cons, BL Kashyap and LNT and I'll say okay. So now what has happened, you see LNT is showing here, another LNT it is showing here. Both the FCONs they are showing it here, BL Kashyap it is showing here. Let me add one more thing. I'll go with uh, Gammon also. I'll be, go with SMCC also, I'll say. Now what has happened, you know, see one SMCC is here, one LNT is here, Pushman and Wakefield is here, BL Kashyap is here, BL Kashyap is here. So I don't want something like this. I want LNT and LNT both to come in one single line. I want the sorting to happen. So in the filter command, you cannot do that sorting. Uh, now you, what you can do is you can go for the sorting command. That means in the sorting, I'll say you sort this contractor according to the alphabets what they have. Okay. Like A to Z or Z to A. So for that, what you're supposed to do, you keep your mouse here. There's one more shortcut button. Else you can go to the data option. And in the, in the data, you there is one option called as sort. You can click on that also. So I'll do it once again. See, one option is keep your mouse here go to the data option there's a sort option here click on that this is one way of doing if you don't want to do that just keep your mouse here and on your keyboard you press alt d s so if you want i'll write it here on your mouse you should on your keyboard you should press alt d and s so it will directly take you to the this particular sorting option so it has opened up for me now so what i'll say i'll say sort that according to the contractor name according to the contractor name you do the sorting so it'll ask you how we want, whether you want A to Z or Z to A. I'll say A to Z you do. I'll say A to Z you do. And if I give OK, you can see first letter is F in FCONS. The first letter is A, right? So FCONS, FCONS is coming. The next company is BL Kashyap. So BL, BL is coming. Then Gammon India. Then LNT, LNT and SMC. Now I'll do other way around. Again, I'll keep my mouse here. Okay. Directly you can go to data and say sort. Yeah. Keep your mouse here. Go to data and say sort. This time I'll say you do according to the contractor only, but you go with Z to A. That means the last letter, that is Z letter should come first. I mean in the reverse order. So I'll say okay. This time S was my last. So S, then LNT, Gammon India, BL Kashyap has come here, FCONS has gone here. So in this way you can do the filtering. Okay. This is one way of understanding. Now I want to do one more filtering. So another filtering is that, let us say, I'll tell you. I want to, I want the contractor name from small to bigger. That is from A to Z I want. But then I want them to be sorted according to the total cost. You're getting my point. See, I'll tell you, I'll tell you two options. See, this is a total cost of the project, isn't it? So in the total cost of the project, whoever is highest, whoever, whoever is highest, he should come first. That should be shown first. And then. You do the sorting according to the name of the contractor also. That means contractor name should start from A to Z. You're getting my point. So I'll show you how it has to be done. 
So what I'll do, I'll keep my mouse here. I'll drag it. I go to data. I'll say sort. Wait, let me do that. Okay, I'll keep it here. I'll say alt ds. Okay, I'll say alt ds. Now, first I'll say according to the total cost you do. First is total cost. I'll select on total cost. So in the total cost, whichever is largest out of this total cost, whoever is largest, no, that you give first. So I'll say largest to smallest and I'll say OK now. So this 97,25,419, this amount is highest and that is to BL Kashyap. Then 89,89,665, this is next highest. So that is Gammon Indian Kushman Wakefield. But what I want, I'll, I'll tell this Excel that see, whoever is highest, that is okay for me. You keep according to that. But here in the name, no, in the name, you do it according to A to Z. You do according to A to Z. Like A name, A in the sense, F1 should come. So based on that, you try to do that. So we'll see what will happen. Again, I'll come here. I'll say Alt DS. I'll say total cost is okay. Next, I'll say add level. There's option called as add level. So then you go with a contractor. So the moment I give contract, it will ask me from whether A to Z or Z to I'll say A to Z and I'll say OK. So now what has happened? Of course, 97 lakh 24, whoever is highest, this guy will be at the top. But here, what has happened? It will come according to uh, A to Z, whoever is highest, based on that it will come. But again, here I cannot appreciate that because since it's a name of the companies, you know, that, that much amount of sorting will not happen. I'll do another sorting here. So another sorting, what I can do is, I'll tell, I'll do another sorting. So let me say total cost is okay. Yeah, fine. I'll do an, another sorting. We'll go with a different sorting. Yeah. So another sorting, what else is it? This is a railway project, right? This is building project. This is a road project. Then this is water supply project. So in all these four projects, whoever has got the highest cost he should come at the top so here in railway project i don't know who is the highest so this is 6,53. yeah this guy is only at the top whereas this is 59,53,000. this guy is at the top so 23,22. this guy is at the top whereas you see here this is 7,96,000. whereas this guy is 20 lakh so what i'm telling say in the railway project whoever is at the top bring him bring him at the top in the building project whoever is at the top you have to bring him at the top uh, in the road project whoever has got more money okay you have to come at the top. So how do you do that sorting? Again, click on this. Say control, say alt ds. Okay, what you select here, you say alt ds. And now we'll delete everything. Uh, I'll delete level, delete level. So I'll say add level. You do the sorting in the railway project first. From how much? Largest to smallest. Okay. So in the railway project, you do that. So if I say okay now. So in the railway project, whoever is highest, no, that guy will come at the top. You see, 6,58,933 is the highest amount what we have. So this guy has come to the top. Are you getting my point, no? So in the same way, in the building project, if I want to apply, next it will be sorted according to the building project. Again, I'll keep here. So Alt DS I'll do. I'll click here, Alt DS. So here, uh, I'll add another level. First, you do for railway project. Next, in the building project, I want the value from smallest to largest. I'll do here. I've done largest to smallest in building project. Let us say I want from smallest to largest and add another one. This will be my road project. So in the road project, you bring it from largest to smallest. I'll add another level. So this you bring, this is my water supply project. So here you keep smallest to largest. Okay. So this will be largest to smallest here, smallest to largest, largest to smallest, smallest to largest. And I'll say, okay. So you can see here 6,58,933. This is the highest one. In the building project, I told whoever is smaller, he has to come at the top. So 69,869,862. 69, so this is at the top now because this is smallest. And the okay, this is at the this is this guy is the smallest. In the same in the road project, he has done. And the water supply also he has done. So in this way we can do the sorting. Okay. So whichever way you want to do the sorting, you can get the sorting done. So we'll apply the same thing in some other uh, problem. Now let us say this is the name of a student. what I have. I have the roll number and this is a total mark. So first sorting I'll do here. You can see here the, according to the roll number, they have, their name have come. 
but I want the name to come in the alphabetic order order. So I'll keep my student name here. I'll say alt D S and here I'll say you write student name first and here student name should come from A to Z. All the students who have a starting A, they, they will come at the top. Then B will come, C will come and D will come and I'll say OK. So you can see Adil, Abdul, Abhishek, Abhishek Kumar, Akash Yadav, Akhilesh Rawat, Alok, all these are A starting from you know, their name has come at the top. Then B, C, D, in this way everyone will come. This is one sorting. Now I want another sorting in this. That means OK, let the student name be from A to Z. But he, out of this, whoever is highest, he has to come at the top. This is a multi-level sorting. That means, see, out of this, this much student, okay, all the students are starting. They have a letter A, starting letter is A. But out of this, who has got highest marks? Abhishek Kumar has got highest marks. But I want the highest marks person to come at the top. You're getting my point. So how shall I do that? It's very simple. I'll just, uh, you know, give a different color to Abhishek Kumar and I'll, I'll give it. So that when I do the sorting, you know, it will come at the top, right? 25 is the highest, isn't it? So I'll go to home. I'll give a different color to that. Let me, yeah. So this should come at the top. Again, I'll keep my mouse here. I'll say Alt D S. That is a shortcut for the sorting command. So keep Alt D S. Now, student name, cell value A to Z is okay. Now you say add a level. So in this level, you go according to the total. So in the total, the guy who is having largest should come at the top and you say OK. It's not working. OK. Uh, OK. OK. Fine. Fair. Let me do one second. No. One mistake what I did is uh, I have to take that first level out. So I'll do one thing. OK. Yeah. Alt DS. What I'm going to see. This is not required. Student name uh, not required. Already the sorting has happened. I'll delete this. So if I want to delete, I'll click. I'll say delete. Huh. Now total cell value largest to small and say ok yeah now you can see abhishek kumar has come to the top so again based on the marks what has happened now the sorting has happened based on the marks i have done the sorting the guy who has got the highest marks that is 25 and in that abhishek kumar a letter is first so that is coming okay then alok tomar he also got 25 he is a after that after that this many students have got 25 marks see try to understand how it works out this many students have got 25 marks. But again, my sorting was according to what? My sorting was according to the alphabetic wise. So after that, after A, B should come. But out of this 25 marks, those are scored, is none of the student whose name is starting from B. So no one is coming. After B, the next letter is C. So this girl, okay, this girl, she has got 25 marks. Because the first letter is C. After C, D, E, there is no one. F is there. F, out of this F, both Fayaz and Faizul both have got 25, 25. But again, F A F A. I will I and I. So Y will come later. After Y, Z will come. So that is how the sorting is done. Got it? So in this way, you can try to do the sorting. Now let me add one more sorting. I'll I'll remove all this sorting. It's not required. Cont Alt D S. So here we'll delete this. Uh, delete the level. I'll say OK. It's not required. OK. So again, I'll click here. Alt D S. Click here. Alt D S. Let me do the sorting according to the roll number. In the not the roll number. Your yeah roll number. Let me go with smallest to largest. Okay. So the uh, the guy having the smallest roll number should come at the top, and the largest one will be at the bottom. I'll say okay. Finish. The sorting is done. So one four three three zero zero five one. This is the first roll number. After fifty one, it is fifty four twenty two zero zero one zero zero two zero zero three and all. This is one level sorting. If you want to do another sorting out of this, whoever has got highest marks, if you want to come at the top, that also can be done. So those things I've explained you how it has to be done. Okay. So I hope you have got an idea how this sorting command. First, you have to apply the filter command. After filter command, you can play with the sorting command. So sorting will always help us when we are doing any work in the office. Let us say uh, when I was working as a prof assistant professor, we used to get the students data. Now I want to find who has got the highest marks. No. So in that case, I don't, I cannot come and check here each and every time. So what we do is we come here, we say Alt DS. Okay. And you say who has got the highest marks total. In the total, you tell me who has got smallest and largest. So I'll go with largest to smallest and say, okay, finish. I got it. This guy has got highest marks. And based on that, we tell who is a topper in the class and all those things. Okay. So this is how the data, whatever data we have, we try to do the sorting like this. Yeah. The same thing you can do it in your companies when you're working. 
so the like uh, here also i'd explain you how the uh, logic will be applied in the railway project who has got the highest in building project in road project what is total cost okay in total cost let me do one more thing of course i've explained you many things i'll do one more control ds i'll say uh, i'll remove all this leveling it's not required for me i'll say uh, delete all the level and now you add a level you sort uh, the total cost from smallest to largest we used to do from largest to smallest i'll go with smallest to largest fine the smallest is 11 lakh 76 thousand 30 and the highest is 97 lakh 25 thousand 400 this is first level of sorting okay this is how the first level of sorting is done after that if you want to do the sorting according to the uh, name of the contractor that also can be done but it doesn't make any sense according to the contractor so total cost sorting can be done okay from here you'll get an idea who has got the total uh, who has got the highest uh, uh, projects what is the total cost of that based on that you can uh, take the data from here so i hope you have enjoyed my lecture up to here you got an idea like how the sorting has to be done how we need to take care of all these things so tomorrow if you get any projects uh, where you have to check who has got the highest project who has got the lowest project all those things okay or let us say in the railway project i want to see which guy has got the highest uh, amount in building project who has got the highest amount in road pro project who has got the highest amount in water supply who has got the highest amount so you can't keep on you know checking here just come here apply the filter then you apply the sorting command everything will be seen here yeah so we'll see you back in the next lecture thank you